Today we're going to explore monochrome color schemes. The word monochrome comes from two words. Mono, meaning one, and chroma, meaning color. So essentially, what we're talking about is one color plus shades and tints of that color. Let me demonstrate. Right now I have red, which we could call a pure color, white and black. So this is one color plus white and black. What I'll do is remember that we can always use red in our pure color. When we mix it with white, in varying degrees, we end up with tints. So notice that I have an extremely light pink over here. As I get farther away from that, I can mix more and more in. And so I still have a nice tint of red right here, but I can have a whole range of tints. I'm going to encourage you to mix colors like this. Don't over mix anything. We don't have to mix up large batches of a single color. I'm going to save that brush for later. Now black is an extremely powerful color, so you notice that I don't have a lot of that there. I'm going to take a pretty good amount of red and a very small amount of black. Now when I start mixing the black with this red, notice what happens. Yeah, that black is so powerful that it's going to continually uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a difficult color to overcome. So right now I have a very dark version of that. As I mix less black with it, I'm coming up with something that is just slightly darker than my pure color. So I can have a whole variety of shades, which is what we call a color mixed with black. These are shades of red, and these are tints of red. We mix a color with white, we call it a tint. We mix a color with black, we call it a shade. I want to show you some things that I've done a little bit of work on. I have this small booklet right here, which I've made a few monochrome paintings. Notice that what I've done is I've started with an orange paper, in this case, and I've used shades and tints of orange on top of it. This real light area still has bits of orange in it. Down in this area, oh gosh almighty, you can see that I have some shades of orange here. I have tints of orange there. So the only colors I used in this rendering were orange, black, and white. I have left the red unfinished so that we could work on that today. I created one that was a violet or a purple. So I started on a purple paper, but then I used shades of violet, that is violet mixed with black. I used tints of violet, violet mixed with white and created this rendering. You see that there is a whole range that we can do. Now the one thing that we don't do in this process, we never mix a shade and a tint. That means I keep my shades separated from the tints. If I'm going to blend from a shade all the way to a tint, I will have the pure color in between. Because otherwise I would be mixing the black and the white together and it grays everything down. We don't want to do that just yet. There's my blue. Here is a green. That one's rather unfinished, but I think that you can see very bright tints, medium brightness tints, some pure colors, and some shades. Very dark ones going all the way to black. Uh, medium shades where there's a good amount of green mixed with the black. There's another example. And pure colors. 
shades and tints never mix together. Now, I have also left my yellow unfinished because this one, yellow offers a very special, unique problem in monochromatic. And um, I'm going to demonstrate that one for you also.